Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Cyborg Gaming. We're here for part 4 of our Formula 122 My Team Career Mode. If you guys have not seen the last video, hit the link up in the top right. Go watch that and come back before I get into any spoilers. Also, uh, just a small announcement for the channel. If you guys like shorter form content, you know, these My Team videos are pretty long uh, and Honestly, I try to make them even shorter than most of the other YouTubers out there because I feel like they're just too long. Um, go check out my driver career mode series on the channel as well. We're in F2 at the moment. We're fighting to get into P1. We're having, a, or not P1, into F1. Uh, <laughs> we're having a, some struggles with that at the moment. So it's making uh, for some pretty entertaining videos. But into the my team stuff. The last race, I kind of ruined it with my own race strategy. I tried to go for something a little bit more aggressive. We started out on the softs in Australia, and those soft tires uh, did not make for a good strategy because it's a street circuit, there's higher tire wear, so it kind of screwed up our strategy for that race. However, we did finish P6, I think it was P6, um, which is still a decent result. We definitely could have done better. But with that P6 finish, it puts us two points behind Nico Hulkenberg. Uh, and the two of us combined, we are P3 in the Constructors. So maybe with some good performances, we keep developing the car. We can increase that gap on Mercedes and maybe get into a P2 spot uh, behind Red Bull. But in to the Miami Grand Prix, uh, we're here at qualifying. Q1, I only put up one hot lap because I want to save a pair of soft tires for Q3 and I'm confident enough in the car at this point that we can get by Q1 with just one hot lap as you saw we finished P13 in Q1 so it was a little close we almost uh, choked it but it was good enough to get us into Q2 which is all that matters we're gonna have an extra pair of softs for the final run in Q3 which could potentially get us into the top three um, for the Miami Grand Prix but Q2 we're putting up our hot lap coming around the final corner we're three tenths up on our previous hot lap Charles Leclerc he's been doing pretty good recently in qualifying uh, he sets the fastest lap then we come in we're P4 sandwiched between the two Mercedes but after the rest of the field goes out we drop down to P6 Nico Hulkenberg for the first time uh, Drops out of Q3. He did not make it into Q3. Finished P11. So I'm the only CRM in Q3. And as you can see, Mark's weather machine. I was about to say Jeff. Mark's weather machine has malfunctioned. It's starting to drizzle. So thank God we were one of the first cars out. Um, I believe only the Haas and maybe one of the Red Bulls I think they came out in front of us so we're trying to get to the end of the lap and as you can see here the sector is a lot slower with the, the low speed grip and the track is wet so we're kind of flying off the race line we can't stick very tight to those corners and that affects our time because that slow sector goes right into a very very long straight it's gonna affect our time all the way down I'm currently at 120 no one has set up a lap yet. I believe I was the first one uh, to do so. And we come in with a 129.9, so a bit slower than our Q2 times. And we're starting in P4. Carlos Sainz is on pole. Lewis Hamilton sandwiched between the two Ferraris. But let's get into this race, guys, and let's see how we do at the new Miami circuit. Formula One has arrived in the Sunshine State for spectacular sunsets, gentle breezes, warm waters, and for what will be a fantastic race day here at the Miami International Autodrome. Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I'm sure it's one that will please the fans. Let's run you through the driver grid order for today's exciting race. It's Carlos Sainz in pole position. 
and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have the engineer, Perez, Max Verstappen, and Fernando Alonso, Magnussen, Russell, Bottas, and Lando Norris, Gasly, Leclerc, they've taken a grid penalty, Mick Schumacher, and Sonoda, Hulkenberg, Vettel, Daniel Ricciardo, and Guan Yu Zhou, Stroll, Albon, Latifi, and Esteban Ocon lines up at the back of the grid. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for the Miami Grand Prix, a new circuit on the F1 22 calendar. Charles Leclerc has a grid penalty, so we are starting in P3. So this is, did we start P3 in Australia? We start P4, I believe, so this is now our highest start. Uh, but we're gonna focus on getting these tires warmed up. We need a good start. And I think we can race Hamilton uh, today, assuming that our pace is good. I've been practicing on this track a little bit, so um, definitely not my greatest track, but I'm pretty confident. And surprisingly, I think I'm decent in Sector 2, or is it Sector 3, uh, the really slow sector right here goes into like a double chicane, kinda. But we have Paulo Sainz starting on pole, and Hamilton took a surprising P2 after Mercedes. Uh, and their recent struggles this season, they did not finish well last race. I think Hamilton suffered a penalty last race, and that's why he uh, finished so low, or at least started so low. I know he started in P15 in Australia, and we got the two Red Bulls, um, oh my god, almost crashed into Hamilton there. Uh, but we got the two Red Bulls behind us, Perez starting in front of Verstappen, which is a little bit of a surprise, that usually does not happen. But here we go, onto the grid. Let's see if we can get a good, um, good grid spot. I'm going to look to cover off Perez from the start. So I'm going to position our car a little bit to the right. There we go. Decent parking. Let's try All right, so we're looking to cover to off. Out. We're on a Keep large, large angle here. But let's get this show the on the road the in Miami, you guys. All right, so here we go in Miami. We got the Red Bulls behind us. The first of two races in Miami. Oh my God, a little bit of a shaky start, but Sainz looks to cover off uh, Hamilton. As we gotta go wide into turn one, but look to avoid any crashes, and we're in the lead. We're in the lead. Oh, how did that happen? I'm gonna put the broadcast cam up for that. Uh, I don't know how the heck we got into the lead, but we're in the lead. Sainz is behind us as we're in a shaky sector when these tires not fully up to temperature. But we are dictating the pace currently, so got to get a good exit here. Out of sector one into sector two. Oh, yes, okay, we're going to use that battery so you can get a bit of a lead here. Uh, we're on the same tire strategy as everyone else. We learned our lesson from last race. And... Uh, we're not going to make that same mistake again. This is a longer lap. Don't ruin my race. Please don't ruin my race, Mark, with the uh, engine wear. So here is where time is to be gained or lost in this race. And right now we're losing it. we got Hamilton overtake signs. Uh, he's three times behind us. The slipstream is going to be a killer on this race. We've got to save that battery. We're going to let Hamilton pass us for now. But into turn one, uh, we were in the lead. Oh, come on. Massive lockup into the last turn. Oh, who's that? Is that Perez? Perez and I racing into turn one. Again, for the second time now. Okay, we've got to up the pace here. These tires should be good to push now. Yeah, we're at 93 degrees Celsius. I just got to focus up, put our head down, get some good laps in. Let's go. We put the fastest lap of the race. 
We're catching up to Hamilton. We were 1.8, I believe, behind him. Now we're 1.3, so a few more laps. We should be in DRS range. We need to get there before these tires start to fall off. Ooh, this sector went a little sloppy. Gotta use some of that battery. 1.3 to Hamilton. We're gapping signs. He's 2.1 behind. Him and Perez looks like they're still fighting it. He's 5 tenths within signs. I'm sure with this DRS now enabled, that might change. Oh, safety car, what happened? What happened? This is a safety car. Oh, crap, should we pit? No, it's too early to pit. Let's see what Lewis Hamilton does. Oh, shit, I gotta slow down before I get a penalty here. I'm gonna put up on the screen what happened. It looks like a Mercedes and possibly um, an Alpine. I can't see who that is on the screen, but it doesn't say who's out of the session or anything, so... I don't know who it is, we're gonna put up on the screen. And you guys can see who it was, hopefully I get an update on the screen here. So we got a safety car, and that is uh, leveled the playing field. We're gonna see if Hamilton goes in. If Hamilton goes in, we're gonna go in as well. But I don't... So we got the safety car coming in this lap, I believe. I'm trying my best to keep these tires up to temperature. What the heck is Hamilton doing? I just freaking brake check me. We're at 79 degrees. We've got the two Ferraris behind us. Hamilton in front of us. Valtteri Bottas in P5 with that Alfa Romeo. As we are about to get racing here. I wouldn't be surprised if Hamilton tries to launch out of this corner. We're going to be right alongside him. Pulling a Max Verstappen. Alright, Hamilton. Here he comes. We're going to use that battery. No overtaking. Okay, we're going to be racing him into turn one, come on! And we overtake Hamilton into turn one, let's go! We pulled over stopping on him, hustling him after that safety car comes in, we're in P1 again! He's going to have DRS though, but it's not activated for two laps, so let's see, we got two laps to try and get a second gap on him, and this is super good for us, we were dropping behind! Um, we we're dropping behind Hamilton by quite a bit. He really had pace over us, but now we have a second chance. We're gonna use that battery all the way down the main street. Great, now we got DRS. Okay, we could not drop Hamilton out of the DRS, so. So now we gotta deal with that. As these straights are massive on this track, so it does not help us that we can't, oh my God, that we can't shake them. But we're in P1. I never thought you'd say that this early into the season. But that budget uh, choice at the start of the season definitely helped us get to this point that quickly. As we are now fighting for podiums, it seems like. We are qualifying well these last few races. Okay, I'm not even going to waste that battery here. He's going to pass us either way. He is right behind us. He's got DRS. He's got the ERS as well. Not much I can do. Just try and keep signs behind us as well. Oh, come on, that's so dirty. Freaking cut into my line as he's turning in. Are we gonna get Hamilton here? We're going all the way down the back straight with the DRS. We're using the battery. He looks to guard the inside. Oh, we are going wheel to wheel through the last turn. All the way to the line. Oh, we overtake him. We got DRS. Can we use that battery see if we can get away from him? Come on. Okay, so we're leading our teammate by 2.7 seconds. Oh, and Hulkenberg seems like he's kind of close, actually. He started pretty low, I believe. Alright, lap 15. We are in P1. Carlos Sainz has gone into the pits. He's going to see if we can get the undercut done. Everyone went into the pits. I think we're the only one to stay out the extra lap, so we got to push here. We're going on the hard tires. Uh, our tires will have one extra lap of... I guess life on it um, as long as we can manage the tire wear well but we've been putting up decent laps so far and honestly I could stay out on these tires a little bit longer but I think it's best that we go in because we definitely will start losing a lot of lap time lap over lap it is going down a little bit but still manageable signs got a 20 so 1.2 I'm gonna estimate 20 seconds so if we come out 
in front of them. Uh, we should have a 1.9. Looks like they're kind of fighting. Oh, I'm gonna put up what's going on over there. I think they're fighting. Uh, Signs in Hamilton. Over P2. It looks like everyone has gone onto the hard tires. And we are gonna follow suit with that. Going onto these hard tires. Into the pit lane we go. Oh, did we get it? Okay, poof. It almost felt like we did not hit the speed limit there. But let's see, are we gonna get out in time? Okay, we need a good pit stop here. Oh, let's go optimal. Come on, please. Please, no errors. No! There was an issue! Oh my god, come on. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Let's go. And we gotta warm up these tires. Oh god. I didn't see what happened there. Signs is right up our rear now. Oh my god, is he? Oh my god, he's trying to go up the inside. Dude, what are you doing? Oh my god, we're going to wheel. These tires are not up the temperature at all. What do you get on the straight Asa? The straights actually help the tires heat up a lot. Oh god, and he's going to have DRS. We are screwed here. We might get overtaken by. Oh wait, what? How did Hamilton get in front? Oh god, I can't waste the battery. Oh, we're getting double overtaken. Oh, come on. I'm going to watch up the inside. Let's try and get those places back. Crap, crap, crap. We ha just had to have a pit error. We just had to have a pit error. That could have cost us the race right there. Oh, come on, man. We can't waste our battery. Okay, we got to save it. We just have a lot of racing left. Oh, Sainz seems to have an issue. Is he slowing down? It looks like he's fine. Going to the time, but let's see as these next few laps progress. Is he really having an issue? Ferrari can't even seem to dodge the reliability issues in the online racing game as they're going wheel to wheel into turn one. Let's see who comes out on top. Oh, they're bumping. The signs got to get out of the way because he's slowing me up right now. As Hamilton has a two second lead once again. That stupid pit stop, man. Okay. We got DRS here. Like, who the heck is behind? Valtteri Bottas is behind me. I would never have thought Valtteri Bottas would be fighting this high up. As we overtake Carlos Sainz. Going into sector three here. Oh my god, Carlos Sainz out of the session. Is there going to be another safety car? Please be a safety car. That would make this race really exciting, but we got five laps to go here. And Carlos Sainz was just catching up to us. I thought he resolved the issue in the car. But now we got look How did Tim McClure get up so quick? Oh god, don't tell me he has DRS. Oh no. Alright, well it looks like we're going to be battling for P2. Okay, we're going to take the inside line on Leclerc. Come on. Push him to the outside. Oh yeah, let's go. Just slice him out like that. These tires are starting to drop off too. Oh my god, that's a horrible sector. Okay, he's 100% here. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. I'm gonna get him a slip shoot behind him. That's the best we can do, get the end of slip shoot behind him. And then hopefully we'll have another overtaking opportunity. Oh my god, Charles Leclerc locks up too. We both locked up. Okay, we're going on to the last lap. We're half a second behind Charles Leclerc. I apologize if I go silent at any point here. I'm really trying to pass the player. Because we don't have enough freaking tire grip to keep up with this guy. Yeah, I know, Mark. Come on. Okay, I don't think we're going to get him here. No, we don't have TRS. Crap. Oh, come on. Okay, well, on the bright side, uh, we're going to get our first podium. Lewis Hamilton wins a race. Uh, I think that's his first race of the, or first win of the season, actually. But we're going to get our first podium. I completely, like, I was trying to get P2, 
we could maybe, maybe go on P1. I don't know if we have the pace to last until the end of the race. That pit stop definitely did not help us. Obviously, Charles Leclerc, driver of the day, started like P10 or something like that. And he made it all the way up into P2. But we got our first podium of the season. I'm not going to complain about that. And there it is, our first podium. I'm just... Oh, like, I'm happy it was our first podium, but I feel like we could have won that race. I feel like it slipped out of our hands in that pit stop. But with that, we got our first podium. Nico Hulkenberg went on a tear. He moved up a bunch of places, started P15, finishes P7. Charles Leclerc, as I said earlier, I thought he started P15, and he actually started P12. And he finishes in P2. And then looking at the driver standings, uh, Leclerc still leading. He's got quite the lead on Verstappen now. Red Bull and Mercedes, I feel like they're just swapping like uh, bad outings in these week race weekends. But me and Nico Hulkenberg are 5th and 6th respectively. I got 35 points. He's got 28. So 7 points ahead of him, which means that in the Constructors... We're in P3. I think we were in P3 after last race, but we retained that position. And I think we actually increased the gap because George Russell did not finish in the point. But he did put up the fastest lap, so no one got that extra point because he finished P18, so it doesn't count um, as a point. And Ferrari has a massive gap in the constructors, man. It looks like we're going to be fighting with Mercedes for the P3 spot as of right now. We're only four races in. We still got a lot of the season left to go but going into our team management stuff uh, we have to replace a few components because they're reaching um, a critical point we're gonna get some new rims for the car increase the chassis that'll put us past mercedes we're also thrown into a power department meeting and they just want to know if we can if the employees can take a short break because it's been a while since they've had that so i'm gonna go ahead only it's only gonna cost us 50k Better pay the 50k now than pay it with bad developments later on in the season. Um, and development, we're doing really good in development. We really shot up the charts. That money at the start of the season has helped us quite a bit. And with that piss up failure, I'm going to put some money down into our personnel department, uh, improve the pit stop crew just to prevent uh, more failures later on because that really costed us at least one position, possibly a race win. That's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, we got the Spanish Grand Prix uh, in the next video after a Pirelli hot lap. If you guys are new to the channel and you watch up to this point, be sure to drop a like on the video, be sure to subscribe, be sure to hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys for our driver career mode part four and then uh, my team career mode part five um, after that. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you then. Have a good day, guys.